Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. So today I have two reviews, post burn reviews from Homeworks, um, and it will be my final Homeworks review of the season um, because shipping deadline is two days away, June, June 1st, June 1st this year. Um, last year, it was May 15th, and there was a whole blitz to try to clear out inventory. Um, this year, not so much. So I know a couple things did go on sale. One of the items I'm going to be reviewing today did go on sale the other day, but you're still paying shipping, and they're still not as cheap as they were last year. So uh, last year, we had, you know, $29 uh, candles at the beginning of March um, for the Tropical Collection. To put that in perspective, this year, holiday 2018 and fall 2018, for the most part, 99% are still full price. Um, and the prices have fluctuated. So QVC um, and HSN, their, their pricing policies. Now, remember, pricing has nothing to do with Homeworks, right? Homeworks sells the product to QVC. QVC then prices what they see fit. Um, so that's why we do have fluctuations uh, going on. So it's all up to QVC and HSN, because they do carry homeworks though, um, how they price. So maybe they feel they uh, they can get full price for some of the holiday and fall stuff. I don't know. I would have cleared that stuff out um, a long time ago because, you know, they don't want inventory because they don't ship over the summer. So we'll see what's going on there. But anyhow, this will be my last review of the season. And uh, probably at some point in June, I'll come back and I'll do kind of a review of the spring season, how I saw it, um, what my opinions of it were, um, and so on and so on. So I'm going to be reviewing today post burn review of Root Beer Float, finally, <laughs> and uh, Lemonade. So this is a, a one half of a duo. The other part is iced tea right here. Um, they should perform the same, hopefully, maybe, but if not, the scent, if you had the Celebration, I'll go over the scent, but if you had the Celebration Diffuser, um, you will, it's the same scent. So if you like the scent, we can go off of that. So let's go with Lemonade here. So here is Lemonade. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, wraparound label. Lemons in their, uh, their, their beverage, their drink, the Lemonade drink, sugar and all that fun stuff. Bright yellow wax, four wick. As we can see, we do have some wick curling here. Um, made in Vietnam. And these were made on, uh, looks like uh, January, January, January 4th of 2019. Uh, so the fragrance notes on the fragrance notes list California lemon, mandarin, neroli, pink grapefruit, and raw sugar. So this is straight up sugary lemon drink, lemonade. It's very it's straight up sugary. Um, almost it's like um, uh, what are they the the crystal crystal packets? You know the little powder. If you were to open up one of those uh, powder packets, those crystal light, crystal light. So if you were to open up one of those crystal light packets to pour into your water bottle or into a pitcher, you get that very uh, bright zesty lemon sugary even though it's not really sugar um sugary sweet lemon scent from there and you mix it into the water shake it all up that's what you get from this candle that that's the closest thing i can remember because all lemonades are kind of made differently but that one just reminds me of it there um as far as strength goes this is a good performer this was definitely a good performer probably about a good solid six six and a half um you know the issue with the curling wicks, some it, they did try to go in on me, um, and some did kind of uh, drown. But I did um, fix that. But um, you know, I'm not as far down as I'd want to be for you guys on this one. But uh, it's just it's just all I could could get together um, in time. So take that for what you want. Um, you know, if you don't trust those wicks, then don't buy it. So that's what it looks like. Now, this partner is iced tea, and this is also just a tremendous scent. 
um, and the wraparound label right there. We got the lemons falling into the iced beverage. Let me take those out there. We have a little orangey tangerine type wax color. So this is a straight up sweet tea. This is a sweet, sweet black tea. Um, and the notes on this are black tea leaves, lemon, crushed mint, mandarin, and crystallized sugar. Um, so this one has, uh, yeah, 04, same date as the lemonade it was built. Uh, Vietnam, 30 to 55 hours. This set, I think, is $44 now. It was like 38 and free shipping when I ordered it, but it's like back up to 44 So this is like fresh brewed, sun brewed tea with the lemon in it, black tea with lemon. This is very, very um, smooth and chill and very relaxing. So, um, you know, I wish I could burn this one for you in time, but I just, I just have not had uh, the time. Life gets in the way of some things and I don't burn candles all day long. So next up we have here is root beer float. So this comes in pack of two of the same and I was very pleasantly surprised when I saw this come online a few months back um this came back with coconut cake and berry trifle uh each instead of two of them I did a haul video on this and so I tried to do a post burn so I'm doing a post burn review here um this is a good one um I had issues with the burn this was probably the dirtiest burn I've ever seen from a homeworks candle. Um, but if you look if you look past the type of burn in a four wick here and look at how it performed strength wise, throw wise, scent wise, um, this was one of the powerhouses of the spring. So um, we have the root beer float, it's the red logo there. We have two different shades of brown striping. Uh, with the white, you can see it's not um, flash wiping, yeah, you know, straight bars. There it is, little um, broken up, per se. And we have the scalloping here, like on some of the other dessert candles. White lid, of course. Notes on this one say root beer, anise, sparkling ginger, vanilla bean, and crystallized sugar. This was made in 2018, December 10th. Uh, of course, made in Vietnam as well. This pair just went on sale for 30 bucks, so uh, $15 a candle for this scent, this quality of throw and everything, good. Like I said, the burn for me um, was, was very disgusting. Um, that's just how it burned for me. Um, you can see the size there and whatnot. And this, this had thick wicks. Uh, these wicks were extremely uh, the flames were extremely, extremely high. As you can tell by when I put it out, um, we have all the black soot on there from how they tell you to put it out by smothering the candle there. Um, and as you can see on the lemonade one, when I did that, nothing. So this comparison there, some of the three wicks did that to me. So just FYI, some of the three wicks did do that to me last year. Um, this is like one of the first four wicks that has ever done that to me. That's just carbon buildup from the flame getting so hot. Um, so here we have the, the wick there and everything like that. You can see the soot and whatnot got into um, the wax. It's a white wax there. It's super strong. This is like an eight on the throw. Uh, it is root beer float. It's not fake root beer float. It is not the root beer float from Bath and Body Works semi annual sale 2018. That was more, now when you, when you compare them side by side, I did this in my previous video, you do get that menthol toothpaste vibe from that candle, not from this. This is more straight up root beer anise, right? Because there is that anise in there. Uh, and you do get a ginger note on here. It's really, really impressive. And I'm not using one for ginger, but. When you mix it all together, there's an effervescence going on in here. And this to me would be his top performer um, the later second half of spring. So to me, that's what I get from this. If you want legit, authentic root beer float, not fake, not sweet, not candy-like, go for this. 
Um, this sets for 30 bucks right now. I think I'll, I'll put the link in the description below. And with that, that's my last homework review for the season. So if you have any questions or whatnot, comment down below, let me know. And then um, we'll see what happens um, in the fall, right? We're gonna have probably Christmas in July. Usually there's stuff past two years on QVC just been Christmas in July. So a lot of exciting things coming up for homeworks. Um, so uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But um, if some of those prices online drop a little bit, you know, um, but uh, not, it probably won't drop in time for the shipping deadline. And that's why I want to get this video up there. So, all right. And like I said, I will come back with uh, a recap of the year. So um, I know Harry just posted the other day on his Instagram that he was already testing fall candles. So that's good. He already has uh, some test batches. Um, so excited for things to happen. Let's, let's see. Um, how the third year goes right we're going into the third year now um we can only go up right so all right guys thanks for watching have a good one i'll see y'all real soon